Hey everyone, welcome. In this episode, I'm going to be teaching you how to change the text on a button. Now we're going to be doing it when you click the button. So this is our event handler for that button. V refers to the, the button that we clicked. And we can start messing with its attributes by using the, the dot operator right here. So your first thought might be V dot and then something like set text. And there's a couple options here. Set text alignment, set text or direction set tooltip text, but there's nothing just set text. So this is not a capability on the view class, but it is on the button class. So what we can actually do is we can take our object, which is currently of type view, and we can cast it to type button. So we're going to get a, a new object of type button. So what is that going to look like exactly? Well, hopefully that wasn't too much of a mumbo jumbo, but just follow along button b equals and then in parentheses you're going to say button and then the name of the variable we currently have so our variable is currently named v we're casting it to a button this process is going to give us a new object of type button which we assign here to this variable b you could also name it button if you'd prefer that works too because this is lowercase and this is uppercase. Now when you do this, you're going to get some issues. It's not going to like it and you actually need to do an import. So you say import android.widget.button with a capital B. Alright, now what we can do is we can say button dot set and look, look at all these set texts. We have so many different ones. The, the reason we have so many different ones is because these are known as overloads, meaning we can throw in different types of data. We can throw in numbers, we can throw in strings, or whatever. So what we're going to do is we're just going to throw in a string that says disabled. Now, I want to run this. And what should happen is when we execute this, we, we click the button and it should set that text, uh, you know, if it decides to actually run. But while it does that, I want to show you guys something. Okay, we got an issue. Let's just check what is, oh, we need to make it set text. There we go. So we set text, and then we run. Now, while this runs, I did want to think of ways that we don't have to worry so much about these imports, see if there's a way to automatically do it. Uh, you may have saw in the previous issue, in the previous video, I, I ran into that issue. And I was doing some research, and it looks like you can configure it to do that automatically. So you can follow for Windows. I'm on Mac, so I'm going to go into Android Studio Preferences. And then Editor, General, Auto Import. And we'll see if we can find that. So we'll go to Android Studio Preferences. Editor, General, Auto Import. Um, and then it was change insert imports on paste value to all don't ask just do it all right there we go so now in theory we shouldn't have to worry so much about the imports but you need to make sure you set that too or you might not get all the imports i have so <laughs> make sure you do that all right let's run this see what happens we click our button it turns disabled and the text changes to disabled all right cool so that is how you do that let's just do a quick review this is an object. It has the type view. We cast that object to a button, which gives us a new object, which we assign to this variable called button. We then type set text, which is a method on this new object. It's available to us because it's of type button. We pass in the value we want, and this happens when we click the button. So that is all. It, again, if you're new to programming and object-oriented programming and all this stuff, this can be a little bit much. For now, what I want you to do is if you don't understand all that, just type it out as is and understand that's how you change the text of things. And as you get more practice doing that, it'll start to make more sense. And if you already understand all that, I'm not trying to be annoying about it. I just want to make sure that everybody can follow along and, and be up to speed. You can also check out my Java videos if you need a little bit more practice with object-oriented programming. But the main thing you need to know is how to just cast this object to a different type of type button 
and then call set text. That's all you really need to know for now. You don't need to know everything. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe. We got a lot more coming and I'm really excited. So I'll see you in the next episode.